So, uh, just to give uh, a little bit of uh, background about myself, uh, I work as a learning analytics specialist at Maris College. I'm Sandeep Jab Prakash. I uh, have a little bit of background in data mining and data analytics. Uh, at Maris, we also work on uh, uh, an early alert system, an early warning system, where we identify at risk students uh, at various junctures in the semester, and we try to also try to uh, intervene with them. Uh, that is one of uh, our major initiatives. Uh, today I'm also representing a Parallel Learning Analytics Initiative. Uh, that is something we kick started like uh, fairly recently. And uh, we are uh, trying to build a community around it and uh, foster more uh, projects that are spawning within this particular uh, realm in terms of learning analytics, uh, how everyone uh, collaborate uh, so that we take it forward uh, in, as a common goal, basically. Agenda for today. Uh, I'm going to just give a quick rationale on uh, what this forum analysis uh, uh, tool can do and why it is necessary. Uh, and also give like uh, details as to how to interpret uh, the visualizations and the insights that you get from this uh, SNAP forum analysis tool. Uh, there will be a, a little bit of a demonstration as well. Um, I'm going to do a live demonstration and later we can look into like uh, future directions, what are the possibilities uh, that uh, social network analysis can bring uh, in, in terms of en enriching our learning experience in general. Uh, and also how to get involved. Uh, what are the areas that we should be looking, for, uh, looking out for and uh, how we can uh, move forward as a community. Uh, and there will also be some time uh, for discussions in the early. Motivation. So if, if you see here, uh, this is the Sakai uh, discussion thread. I have a habit of walking around. So. <laughs> I can go far. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm on the leash. <laughs> All right. Uh, OK. Uh, this is the Sakai uh, discussion thread. Uh, basically, I have expanded one of the uh, discussion uh, uh, threads up here. If you see uh, here, you can see uh, who has replied to whom. There's like various indentation, uh, what time they responded to. Uh, this is great, but uh, uh, it's not intuitive enough that you can uh, immediately get to know like what's happening in the forum, like uh, who's interacting with whom immediately, like how many posts are there. Right, and uh, well, what seems to be the peak activity time. Those kind of analysis uh, uh, cannot be immediately drawn. You need to dig deeper into the post, you need to dig deeper into the content, into the uh, timings and whatnot, right? So next we also have like site statistics and grading tool, which is provided within Sakai. Uh, it, it, it provides like a basic aggregation of results in terms of like, how many posts they made, uh, how many uh, posts they read or unread, and what's the percentage. And uh, beyond that, we uh, uh, we cannot make a sense of uh, uh, like who's uh, posting more in terms of like uh, who's posting uh, quality content or who's uh, more influential within uh, uh, that particular forum. Uh, those kind of analysis cannot be drawn out here. We can't uh, rank the participation levels uh, within the forum. So uh, that's that's where SNAP comes into picture. Uh, SNAP is an acronym. Uh, it's for Social Network Analysis and Pedagogical Practices. What it does is it gives you a bird eye view of the forums. Uh, basically, it, gives, uh, it renders a sociogram, which is a network visualization uh, where each of the nodes here are like participants within the forum and uh, immediately you can see like who's interacting with whom and uh, who seems to be influential in this particular forum, who seems to be left out, who seems to be, uh, who, who seems to require more help, are they meeting minimum requirements, those kind of uh, intuitive uh, measures can be drawn out immediately. Uh, and that is something which would be helpful for both student perspective and also uh, from the faculty perspective, right? Uh, and later they can uh, dig a lot more deeper into uh, like, oh, uh, uh, 
this particular person seems to have posted a lot. There seems to be a lot of conversation going on. So let me check out that topic and see like uh, uh, if I can provide more direction to them. Or how do I involve people who are left out in that particular, you need to uh, participating more uh, within uh, uh, that particular topic or something like that, right? How do you basically uh, get get people to interact more within the class? That's uh, uh, that, that is one of the outcomes of this particular visualization. But as I said, it renders a sociogram as an alternative representation of discussion forum, a lot more intuitive. Picture is always better than uh, a thousand words. So that's the that's pretty much the concept of uh, uh, this. Uh, it's completely real time. You can uh, run this analysis at various junctures, see how the forums evolved, uh, who, who seems to be participating at what time, uh, where it seems to be the peak traffic and whatnot. Uh, currently, there is integration with uh, learning management systems like Moodle and Blackboard. Uh, they recently started uh, start supporting Blackboard because uh, uh, they were kind of moving. Uh, there were like uh, recent upgrades in terms of Blackboard systems, and uh, the integrations were not updated. So uh, the, those were two of the uh, LMSs which had support. Uh, there was no support for uh, Sakai CLE. There was no integration with Sakai CLE. At Maris, uh, we thought this would uh, be a very cool uh, tool within the forum, so uh, we just wrote that blue code. And uh, now currently we have uh, support within version 2.8x and 2.9x. It is a simple and easy to install client-side bookmarklet application. So uh, once you set it up in your institutions, you don't uh, you can just go ahead and share bookmarklets, which can be deployed in your Chrome browser or was the Lafayette box. Uh, there is also support for Safari. Uh, so uh, it's fairly simple in terms of uh, rendering the visualizations. All you need to do is uh, set it up, post it in your uh, institution, or post it within a Mario and make it available for the entire community uh, in itself. SNAP was basically developed by folks in uh, Australia. Uh, the initiative is seeing networks and visualizing and evaluating student learning networks. Uh, so these are some of the folks who were involved uh, in developing this particular tool. Uh, most of these folks are associated with the uh, uh, Society of Learning Analytics uh, Research. Uh, Josh was, uh, sorry, uh, George Siemens was actually giving a keynote where he mentioned SNAP and network related uh, uh, learning uh, a couple of times. Uh, this is uh, uh, one of the projects within uh, uh, the Solar Initiative. So, what can a network diagram tell us? It can identify immediately identify who are uh, the students who are at risk, who are likely, uh, you know, uh, to not participate uh, enough, who are cut off from the majority of the discussions, those kind of uh, intuitive uh, insights can be drawn from this. We can identify like key information brokers uh, within uh, uh, the class, like uh, uh, who seems to be central to the conversation, uh, who, say, who has the ability to connect uh, a lot more uh, uh, people within the forums and uh, draw more um, you know, interactions, basically. And uh, you can also identify like uh, high and low performing students, and you can plan interventions around it. And you can also test like uh, how your inter interventions work. Suppose you intervened at like week two uh, in the forums, uh, saying that oh, such and such students were not performing good. Uh, we're gonna uh, intervene with them, ask them to participate more. You can basically run an analysis of like three or four weeks again, and uh, you know uh, draw a, a comparison between like uh, was there any improvement in the performance? Right? Uh, basically, it can be used as a benchmarking analysis tool for that, and you can also provide it for students so that they can benchmark on their own and without the uh, need for faculty to mention like what's the level of participation, right? They get to know that, uh, oh, I'm not doing good in this particular class, in this particular forum, I just need to post more or something like that. 
you can also draw uh, like what kind of a forum it is, like uh, analysis as what kind of a forum it is. Uh, in this particular model, if you see uh, all the uh, participants, most of the participants are conversing with uh, one single person. So you, you can immediately draw a, uh, an analysis that, oh, this is moderator-centric or instructor-centric kind of forum where everyone uh, is responding to a question which is posed by uh, you know, one who started the forum or someone uh, uh, central uh, to it. You, in, in this particular visualization, uh, you can see this. Uh, there are arrow marks out here, which shows the uh, direction as to uh, who, who responded to whom. Right? If uh, someone responded back, then they get a reverse arrow as well. So that is uh, kind of intuitive. And uh, there are like weights which kind of show like how many posts were made. Uh, uh, what's the level of inter, uh, you know, interaction, how many posts happen between uh, those two parties, etc. This is more a social interaction pattern where you know, uh, there's a more lively conversation going on kind of thing where uh, more people are participating, more people are engaging with each other. And uh, if you see uh, some participants, uh, the note sizes are a little bit bigger uh, than uh, the others. And some people are on the fringe out here, right? Uh, and uh, uh, some people are more drawn towards the center, uh, where uh, th that kind of shows that the, uh, those folks are somewhere kind of related to uh, being like key information brokers. Uh, they they are kind of connecting all of these parties together. Uh, the node size kind of represents like. Uh, what's their level of participation, what's their authority within this particular forum, kind of thing. Next, uh, yeah, obviously I, I already mentioned that this is fairly evident as soon as you see someone on the fringe and not interacting more within the core group, then those are the folks uh, you know, who immediately can be identified as, okay, uh, they need some help, they are we need to direct them so that they participate more within uh, uh, the discussion forums. So, we have, we have seen the. Yeah. Oh, just what happens to people don't interact at all? They just don't appear with that name. Uh, well, uh, so what, what SNAP basically does is it takes a web, it does a web crawl on the forum, right? If they haven't interacted at all, then they, they won't be, uh, they won't appear within the forum discussion thread uh, itself. Uh, at this point, uh, it, uh, it is not looking at the course roster, but it is just looking at the uh, forum itself. So the thread, more at risk. Sorry? Wouldn't they be more at risk if you haven't interacted at all? Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, that is something uh, uh, which we are uh, trying to include, uh, where, you know, uh, we are, we're trying to bring in the course roster itself. Uh, uh, just to keep track of like number of participants, um, and uh, in case uh, they're not participating, we can uh, you know just render them as a node within the visualization. But uh, you know uh, since there are no connections, uh, it's pretty much they're pretty much cut off. Uh, that's uh, one of the uh, things we are also planning to do. Some of the key performance uh, indicators in social network analysis, basically the centrality. This is a measure that gives like uh, how uh, powerful you are socially in, uh, in that particular uh, network, how connected you are within that particular network. Uh, um, basically, they form the core in terms of putting everyone in touch with each other, uh, that, uh, or you can. Uh, if at all you want to need more participation uh, within the fringe uh, uh, elements out there within the forum, then uh, you can uh, kind of redirect them or group them uh, along with uh, uh, these particular uh, central figures so that uh, you know they participate more. So it's more uh, you can draw more uh, in terms of uh, intervention strategies depending on like who's central to the conversation, who's not. Right? We give a rank associated with that. So that kind of helps in, uh, you know, uh, creating more like group of our forums or something like that. Uh, we also keep track of degree, that is, uh, number of conversations they are involved in, uh, how many times they post it, or they receive some kind of response. Uh, in degree is more like uh, uh, how many uh, responses they receive. Out degree is more like how many times they responded to any of the posts out there. 
Uh, I talked a little bit about centrality. Yeah. Quick question is, with, is the, in terms of how centrality is, is um, calculated, is that the other three put, put together? Like in terms of how, how well you're doing, or is it, is it just the, the top of is the tie that are going in or out? Well, in terms of centrality, uh, that, uh, that was oh, okay, uh, 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 this slide about. Uh, yeah, that's a very good question. Uh, how do you determine centrality, right? Uh, there are a variety of techniques. Uh, in this particular uh, tool, as it stands, we are using uh, two uh, you know, major ones. One is the betweenness centrality. Uh, basically, if you go to the diagram, okay, I'll just bring this up. This is the next slide. But uh, uh, if you if you just look at this as a network, right? Uh, forget about forums and everything. This is just a network, right? Uh, you, if you want to co connect Jordan with Talia over that, right? What is the shortest path you take so that you know uh, you can reach that particular node, right? Uh, that kind of gives uh, 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 when when you calculate the same thing as to how to connect Jordan with others and uh, uh, everything uh, with all the other participants, right? Uh, basically, uh, you get to know like. Uh, how many times this node was central to the conversation? How many times that particular node fell uh, in uh, uh, within that particular shortest distance? Right. You're calculating that for each and every node, and depending on that, you're coming up with a score, which becomes your betweenness centrality. The next one is eigenvector centrality. Uh, PageRank, Google's PageRank is kind of a variant of uh, eigenvector centrality. Uh, apart from uh, keeping a track of degree, uh, the between the centrality, uh, etc., how poor you are for the conversation, that is a measure of influence. But uh, uh, are, you, are you uh, participating in conversations that are important or uh, that seem to have like high traffic? Or more influential people are participating in that particular discussion. Uh, have you posted anything over there? Are you more visible in that group? Kind of a thing. Uh, that is what is kept track within uh, the page rank. For example, uh, suppose uh, um, uh, two people have a blog, right? I have, uh, for example, uh, my blog has like 50 uh, people who are following me, but the other person has like five people following uh, him. But uh, um, one of the followers is Google. Right? Google apparently has like high page rank. Um, it's more central, more influential, and that person is participating with uh, Google. Right? There's an association with Google. Naturally, his or her page rank uh, kind of uh, uh, gets boosted because of that association. Right. Uh, so it's not only about work, but uh, are you also networking with the influential people? Uh, are you participating in the uh, where the meat of the conversation is happening? That is what we are uh, trying to track using this particular measure. So uh, I, I'm, I'm going to show a little bit more uh, uh, in terms of demo as to what are the options available. When you hover on each of the nodes, you basically get like a tool tip which gives like uh, more details as to what was their centrality measures, what how uh, central their the conversation, how many posts they made, what's the degree, in degree, out degree, etc. It also provides a statistic table. If you see on top, you have visualization tab, statistics tab. Uh, this is uh, a little more uh, detailed than uh, what you see in uh, statistics and grading tool, which is available in Sakai. Uh, you can keep track of the between the centrality and uh, uh, page influence rank as well, right? Apart from uh, uh, just getting a, a, a intuitive visualization, uh, this is something you can feed back into. Uh, Sakai database uh, at some point for more analysis as well. Currently, we don't have that, but uh, that that is kind of in the future directions. Uh, There's something uh, we plan to do. So other features involve uh, you can filter the network by the date. You can see how the conversation progressed. Uh, in terms of it can be weekly, it can be monthly, any timeline as long as. Uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah, within the range, you can uh, see like how the network evolved, uh, basically. 
uh, how the information uh, got got viral or you know uh, it just uh, died. You know, basically you can keep track of that. Uh, and uh, there are a lot more opportunities where you can uh, uh, kind of keep a track of like are their communities evolving, right? Uh, can we cluster these cohort of students together, right? Uh, that kind of analysis can also be done. Uh, if you, uh, oh, probably it's not in this particular visualization, but I'll show that in the demo. Uh, on, on the top, you get like a time series, which kind of which kind of shows like where was the what's the level of uh, activity and engagement, basically. And uh, you, you can also export these insights as uh, in a pictorial format, like JPG, PNG, or uh, something which is ingestible by other graph analysis algorithms out there, uh, sorry, softwares out there, uh, like Gephi, VNA, uh, et cetera, uh, for more in-depth analysis. If you're more into network analysis and you want to bump it up a notch, uh, basically, it will uh, uh, provide a standard uh, uh, output, uh, which is like a GEXF, which can be ingested in uh, many of the network analysis softwares out there. Uh, so uh, you can you can do more cool stuff with that, and not get limited uh, just by what we have here. So let's just go to the demonstration. Just maybe. This is a small video. Welcome to a sh short demo on SNAP, which stands for Social Network Analysis and Pedagogical Practices. It is used to easily analyze discussion forums in Sakai. In this forum, we can see multiple users interacting with one another. But unless we read the whole forum, we don't know who is leading the conversation and who has just replied once. SNAP allows the professor to know these intricate details about the forum with a very easy to follow visual interpretation. SNAP performs a web crawl on the Sakai forum thread and creates a network interaction graph among the participants. The nodes of the graph represent the participants in the forum. The interaction between them are represented as the directed edges of the graph. There are a number of force directed graph layout options provided, which helps to immediately identify disconnected students along with key influencers and information brokers within the forum. SNAP and its visual representations can be exported as other standard graph formats, which can be used by other tools available in the market for a more in-depth analysis. The best part of SNAP is that it can be deployed as a simple bookmarklet application. For more details, please refer to the SNAP Sakai homepage. But this is basically a very short video we uh, kind of came up with uh, just to spread the word out there in terms of like, okay, this is a cool tool. Uh, feel free to share uh, in your institution and, uh, you know, uh, pick more interest, get people intrigued about uh, this particular software and what it can uh, offer. Uh, I can dig a little bit into, uh, you know, uh, the live demo as well. Uh, Later, uh, later, if you have any particular questions as to how the filtering works or uh, you know uh, more options available, how you do clustering, kind of thing. So, uh, just a peek into some of the future possibilities uh, uh, that we are currently looking into. Uh, like I said, SNAP is uh, one of uh, the initiatives within uh, Solar Group, and uh, we recently kickstarted uh, something uh, called Open Learning Analytics. Uh, which is basically uh, um, a combined effort between Aperio and uh, Solar uh, to uh, improve and accelerate uh, learning and uh, development of uh, learning analytics software, operationalize it, and deploy it at scale. Uh, so we are looking into more ways that uh, you know we can uh, um, make the research which is already available more sustainable, right? So uh, for this particular tool, uh, this is something which we came up with. Uh, in terms of uh, SNAP, if we want to render all the insights, the ranks, and everything that uh, it can offer, uh, uh, 
if we want we want it to be uh, as a part of Sakai database, uh, we thought it would be great if we had like a basic FDI integration, so it can be rendered easily uh, rather than just as a bookmark. Uh, it can be a tool within Sakai. It can be an option within the forums itself where you can just click a button uh, and run the analysis whenever you want, right? Or we can also uh, run it periodically uh, on a database level uh, and uh, kind of. Uh, bring all of these uh, insights and store it within Sakai database so that we can uh, perform more cool stuff like, uh, okay, for example, our other, other initiative is uh, the early alert system which we have developed. We can come up with a score uh, for the participation of a particular student if uh, the course is using forums or something like that, and we can feed that as a metric in our prediction process. As you see, like uh, uh, if we can boost the accuracy of our models by bringing in uh, this kind of data, it's basically enriching the data set is what we're talking about. Uh, there are more uh, options in terms of content analysis. Uh, I, 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 at this juncture within Snap, what it is keeping track of is like number of posts, but. Uh, uh, if, if someone um, posts like 50 times uh, with just acknowledgement statements like, I agree, yes, that's correct, and uh, you know, then it's going to show up that uh, uh, at this point in the visualization as uh, uh, he's a high performer, he or she is a high performer. Uh, so uh, that's something uh, uh, which can be mitigated by providing more content analysis. It can be as simple as uh, just word count, right? Just keeping a track of like uh, uh, you know what's the word count within that particular post uh, he or she made. Uh, the other area is discourse analytics, uh, um, which is more into text mining and uh, looking at uh, the quality of the content, the submission itself. Uh, what we can uh, try to do is like uh, create bins uh, where. Uh, you have a win for oh, whether that particular forum discussion was a question or was it a, was it a, was it a response in, uh, to some other question or uh, the, uh, did they share some resource uh, which was beneficial uh, in, uh, for this particular discussion. So uh, basically we can create bins of that sort and uh, uh, classify uh, the nature of uh, the post basically and uh, come up with like a score for that and uh, uh, kind of translate that into like what's the participation level uh, in the forum. Uh, yeah, uh, that way we can capture uh, if deeper learning is happening within the course or is it just like, uh, you know, someone's fighting uh, back and forth saying that, uh, okay, uh, some, some gibberish you know, within the forum. And uh, uh, it's a very good benchmarking tool if at all uh, forums are heavily used uh, in a particular program or a course, you know, uh, it can be deployed both on the student level and instructor level. So uh, basically they can keep a track of the performances themselves. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, at, at, over time when when we have an LTI integration and we have collected sufficient data within the Sakai itself, we can start looking Beyond a single discussion forum, we can start looking on a course level. We can start looking uh, over a period of four years, what was the quality of submissions, what was the page rank they had, come up with the score, uh, and see what the engagement level of the student or even the faculty wants. Right? And uh, uh, this is something uh, a little bit detailed about uh, uh, Barrier Learning Analytics Initiative itself and where SNAP fits in, uh, SNAP fits in, in this particular uh, um, uh, architecture. Uh, Aaron Jarkowski here, uh, he basically came up with uh, uh, this particular architecture at this point you know, where we are trying to uh, have all of the efforts within a barrier in terms of learning analytics communicate with each other. Uh, where we are trying to figure out all the pieces of the puzzle and uh, you know bringing them as a cohesive unit. Uh, there are like five major components uh, related to collection, storage of the data, analysis, communication, and action. Uh, collection involves bringing in data from a wide range of systems. It, it can be your student information systems. It can be your 
uh, learning management systems like Sakai, Moodle, whatnot, and uh, it, uh, it can also be your social networks. Like you can also feed in like Twitter feeds, and uh, you know uh, if you are uh, doing some mobile submissions or your portal or whatnot, right? You can basically stream the data using standards that exist as of today, which is the XAPI, IMS. They're going to come up with uh, a reference implementation of their own in uh, coming months. So uh, uh, the plan is to uh, kind of stream the data into a, a huge repository, uh, which we're calling it a learning record store. Uh, basically, uh, it provides the opportunity for analysts like me to go and pull data from a single repository rather than uh, figuring it out like, oh, where does this data come from? Where does that data come from? And spending like uh, uh, half of the grant money on uh, you know figuring that that kind of uh, uh, problem. It's going to be more like an open attack kind of solution once we have this architecture ready. Uh, so uh, we, uh, we can just go there, pull relevant data, right? Uh, the analysis aspect it can uh, consist of uh, you can imagine more like uh, an app store model uh, where you have various learning analytics tools. Uh, it can be your early alert system. It can be your SNAP. Basically your of pulling uh, data related to forum interactions and feeding it to SNAP, right? That can be uh, your single uh, app out there, uh, which is available. You can uh, uh, come up with like more recommendation engines in terms of content or profiles or whatnot, right? It can have a whole slew of tools out there. And uh, later, how do you communicate those results? We are looking into something like a generic dashboard uh, kind of system where we can, uh, you know, render the visualizations. For example, snap visualization, right? It can be the dashboard. Currently, it's uh, uh, rendered within the uh, forum page itself, but uh, uh, we can also render it in a more personalized fashion uh, at some point in the future. Uh, and uh, once we have, once we have gained all this uh, knowledge and insights from uh, these kind of analytical solutions, what we can do is. Uh, using softwares like uh, Student Success Plan uh, with the Nafario, uh, which is another great product, uh, we, uh, we can uh, try to uh, come up with like more uh, personalized intervention strategies, action plans, etc., where uh, you know uh, we are trying to enrich the learning experience or boost the performance and whatnot. Right? Uh, it's more personalized that way. We close this loop by bringing in what happened after the intervention kind of uh, data also into this particular collection. And over time, that can be analyzed in terms of uh, looking at like what intervention strategies work best and uh, uh, what kind of learning is happening and uh, how do we uh, best intervene with those students using what kind of uh, strategies. So those kind of analysis can also be done and we can devise like a recommendation engine so that just like Amazon or Netflix provides uh, uh, nowadays, you know, that it can be your course recommendation, it can be your intervention recommendation for academic advising and whatnot. So discussion. Uh, and any particular questions you might have? Yes. Uh, where do we where could we get that video you were trying to demo? Uh, if you go to YouTube and just type in SNAP S N A P P and uh, Sakai SNAP Sakai, uh, you get like two videos. One is a longer version which I just created. Uh, it's like five minutes long. If you want a short and peppy video which I showed, then uh, uh, that is uh, that is also available. Is the, is the version for Sakai available? Yes, for that yes. Uh, I was about to bring that up. I think it's in my next slide. Or I might have to open that. Let's see. So uh, I'm going to share the slides over in Lanyard, uh, so it's uh, available for everyone. You can find all relevant information. Uh, but uh, there's a link which leads you to uh, this particular page where you know, it also points to a GitHub page where you can uh, pull the code uh, and uh, see like how you can deploy it in your setting if you want, or if you want us to deploy it, that's fine as well. Uh, there is a lot more detail. There is also embedded. This is uh, I'm not here. This up here again. Uh, this is a longer version. I was talking about. Uh, it goes a little more detail into how to install and everything. Yes. Uh, what feedback do you have from instructors about that? Uh, we, we, we did uh, uh, show it to a few folks in our uh, in institution, 
basically masters in public administration program. They are heavy users of forum and uh, they really like the tool and uh, they wanted to use it as a benchmarking tool for intervention uh, at this point. We are going to be running more pilots uh, in the fall semester. Uh, that's what uh, we are planning. Uh, so, uh, that, so far there has been like positive feedback in terms of uh, usage of the tool. Uh, and there are more feedback as well so that we can uh, uh, you know, uh, improve it. Uh, there are more requirements that they are giving as well. Uh, for example, uh, the feeding uh, data back into Sakai database was one of the requirements or one of the instructors was, oh, I did not think about that. That would be so cool kind of thing, right? Like, uh, I was like, okay, uh, that should be on the roadmap. I'll just put it in the future directions and uh, uh, gain more traction within the community to see, like, uh, you know, if uh, we can get like, more contributors and everyone on board. It's a completely open source initiative. Uh, all the code is available in GitHub under the Aperio Learning Analytics Initiative uh, GitHub account. So uh, you can go there, you can pick the code, you can contact us in case, in case you are having any uh, uh, issues with uh, how to install, how to render the visualizations, etc. Or if you have any other cool ideas or more contributions, how do I improve the system, uh, that would be great as well. Any other questions, suggestions? Who did your voiceover for your video? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it was uh, it was a services coordinator in our office. Uh, uh, there's a story behind this. Story. <laughs> <laughs> the voiceovers are always very impressive, right? <laughs> it's good, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what I told her. I mean. Uh, uh, I, I came up with like a one minute video uh, without a voiceover. Uh, it was just lying there. And uh, the, immediately, in one of the Educause conferences, uh, there was like a competition, a video competition around learning analytics tools. Right? So I was like, I can't just submit it you know, without any voiceover or anything. Our services coordinator, she was like, oh, I can do it. And she basically did it in half an hour. And uh, we just posted it on the last day. And we ended up winning the competition. So <laughs> yeah. We'll let her know that she'll be yeah. happy. <laughs> so yeah, she was, she was the voice behind this group. Yes. Yeah, what are your on the extensibility of the tool? I know you developed it with uh, Sky, uh, Sky, Mind, and Mindwork. Um, what about other types of discussion forms that might be available? And are you encouraging use um, of this in CAN? Um, yes, there is a lot more you can do with social network analysis. Definitely. Uh, in terms of uh, TinCan API, uh, uh, you basically feed the uh, data in the form of active verb object triplet, which is which is kind of conducive for social network analysis because uh, you can render uh, visualizations as to you know create network graphs around like uh, the verbs and the various actors, right, and how they are accessing resources. So that 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 way you can create like uh, uh, a map which gives us more insights as to who are the similar users, who access similar kind of resources, right? Uh, how do we cluster these guys or put them in touch with each other? For example, OAE at this point uh, uh, is streaming data uh, using TinCan API to the learning record store in the model I was talking about. So um, the, one of the major uh, core uh, ideas is to foster collaboration among communities, among ten tenants, right? Uh, so uh, suppose uh, there was a professor uh, who was doing research on a similar kind of field, and he access he or she accessed like uh, a bunch of resources, uh, and there was some other professor in the University of Cambridge or something like that uh, who was interested in similar kind of resources. Then we can put those two in touch with each other. Right? Or we can recommend content as to, oh, the uh, people in, in your similar uh, domain are kind of looking at these resources. Why don't you try this kind of thing? So there are a lot more possibilities with this. Yeah. Is it? 
Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I'm just going to add to that a little bit and say that, uh, and also to clarify, because we didn't actually write the SNAP code that was right. done by Shane Dawson and his group and others before. Yeah. Um, and, and so, but I should give the measure credit for, for getting the work with him. Uh, but it is a good example of why I think there's a great opportunity for Ontario and Solar to collaborate more. Um, I don't know if the bookmark plan is the most robust way of doing this kind of stuff. And then also you look at licensing, for example, GitHub. I think it's still on their Creative Commons license. Right. It's right. probably the first thing licensing structure. And it's not a criticism of this, but I didn't know what else. So that's a little bit of a more strategic comment here. But that I think it's a great opportunity for us to do work like this, but then operationalize the research ideas the way that it scales. Excellent. We have a question. Well, this, um, the, what the local granularity or flexibility do you have to or the analysis? In other words, um, does it choose everything that's within the forums tool or is it a particular forum or a particular topic? That's a good question. At this point, uh, whatever um, discussion threads we can open in an expanded format. Uh, that is something we can uh, render a visualization for. I've said that we can write more code, uh, you know, in terms of analyzing a group of discussions and so on. That, but that is yet to be done. Uh, just to give you an example, of the this is something we created in our office uh, for our demo purpose. Uh, Can you unplug the uh, audio cable and make it <laughs> Just yank it up. So, uh, in terms of uh, uh, you know uh, working with multiple forums, at this point there's an option here which says display message content, which basically uh, basically groups all of the conversations together and you know creates like a huge directory of the conversations. Uh, that is the level of uh, you know, granularity we have at this point. But uh, having said that, we can write more code where you know you don't have to open it. Open this in like a messy fashion, or in terms of you know rendering a visualization at the bottom of the discussion thread. Instead, we can just pop in uh, another window, just so you can compare both the thread in terms of content and also the visualization. Uh, that, that can be done. Uh, that's really uh, to be done. Yeah. Uh, like I said, uh, there's more to be done uh, as an initial point. Uh, sorry. As an initial point, uh, we just wanted to integrate this and see like how it works. And uh, see, like, what are the gaps? What is the interest level? Uh, are actually going to use it? They're going to like it? Those kind of stuff. Now that we have more evidence that uh, that's happening, uh, and we realize more we can do with uh, social network analysis out there. For example, uh, uh, have you guys uh, seen uh, uh, LinkedIn maps? Basically, uh, it creates uh, um, you know a social network of your connections. And kind of depending on the skill set or you know uh, the uh, uh, expertise, etc., uh, they just uh, create communities around that, right? Uh, color coding of some sort. Uh, so you, uh, it can be used on a wide range of settings. There's a lot of possibilities with this uh, tool. But uh, we just wanted to explore like what are the opportunities available. So uh, hopefully with the uh, People, uh, more developers and contributors and adopters, you know, we can uh, make that happen. And that's where Aperio Learning Analytics Initiative uh, comes into picture. We wanted to disseminate knowledge, uh, share uh, about the variety of initiatives out there, you know, uh, connect all this isolated research communities together 
so we can operationalize all of the software and uh, take it take it further. Any other questions? Okay. It's just it's, it's great. It's, it's great. That's, all, that's the one thing I would say. So I, mean, I, could, I could just see it being such a great. It's, I mean, it's it's really deep, but I could also just see it being such a great resource for for our kind of rank and file instructors to be able to go into the forums tool, right. go to a, a conversation, and just get this information and and, and, and really just get it, it immediately. I mean, that's the thing that seems really neat about this is that you can. You know, I mean, there's all the statistics that are already in the forms, but it really it doesn't lend itself to making those kind of like right. It's a lot more right? you know, <laughs> comprehension of what's going on in that particular conversation. So right. really, really cool. I'll relay the message to the solar folks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.